Welcome to Vlogmas, the final day for 2013. We're going to start by letting Denise say good morning, Denise. Good morning. Um, she's going to show you her Lego calendar and let you know whether she thought it was <clears throat> worth the hype. So the overall, here's the overall layout. So what we all thought that we didn't know what that caboose was going to be. Well, it happened to be at Santa's little caboose and those two little presents. So he's heading off to give some some presents under the tree. And um, the only one that really, to me, kind of was odd was the space guy. But hey, he's got a little twinkle thing on his hand. So the space guy with a fairy wand. <laughs> so the firefighter and his links on his barbecue. And he's got his little fire extinguisher for safety beside him. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, robotic, so I kind of put them both together with the uh, kind of the astronaut. Um, the funnest, I think, for me was the little race car guy. So, and this is his little stop pit, so he can get his gas and other things. Um, the little boy with his remote control, so he's got his tugboat, his his train, and his two planes. And I put the snowman over here. Um, and then you've got the little dog with his bones in his little dish in the fireplace. And then there's the, the dinner and I put the uh, cop and robber sharing a, a drink together on the bench. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, of course the tree and a couple presents. So this is it. This was fantastic. I, I'm looking forward to 2014 getting it again actually. It was only $35 Canadian. Um, totally well worth it. I mean, if you look, if you price Lego, I've been a Lego holic since I was little. I gave all my uh, Lego uh, collections away. I had hospital ones. I had millions of bits, um, you know, collecting like collecting them since I was a kid. But I gave them away before I moved uh, here. So it's been almost 20 years not having any Lego. So this is kind of cool having it back. <laughs> so uh, I might start it up again. You never know. Mama's got expensive collection. I'm gonna have expensive collection. It's not cheap. So anyway, I thought it was the. I think it was. It was amazing. It was totally worth it. I'd get it again. Cool. Yeah. So the reason that this is Vlogmas final day, uh, Vlogmas, as you know, only goes to Christmas Eve. But I had gotten this Essie um, Twelve Days of Christmas kit, and when I checked out what Twelve Days of Christmas actually was. It started on the 25th of December. So my plan was to do this until the 5th of January, which is the 12 days of Christmas for this year. However, the Essie box itself, um, this was their first year, I think, doing it, and they had sort of styrofoam dividers inside. And for some reason on mine, all that styrofoam was broken up. So when I opened door two, there was nothing behind it. And then I could hear that there were bottles clanking together somewhere. And so I made the executive decision to just open it all at once uh, to, you know, because it just wasn't going to be fun because it was a mess inside. Having said that, I got this through um, Loose Button, which is the Luke's Box distributor. And I think it cost me about 40 bucks. So I was expecting minis but these are full size essie polishes i'm going to show you what we got first of all um it was these nine polishes which i'll let uh, denise zoom in and show you i've kind of arranged them in color from you know there's one super heavy glitter and then some neutrals up in through some darker colors all full size as well as um an apricot cuticle oil which I didn't know that Essie made their own cuticle oils. And two of the dry nail appliques. And uh, again, I didn't know Essie had those, so I will try these out. I now have the Sephora, X Formula for Sephora, Essie and my Coco, which I use all the time, and I might do a comparison of the three and do a video of that for you. They're kind of nice. One is just like kind of silvery, champagne-y colored dots, and the other is kind of reddish dots. So I thought that was very um, much bang for the buck in terms of what it was. It would have been nice if I could have opened it each day, uh, but hopefully I'm suspecting Canada Post drop kicked that thing a few times and that's what got the uh, styrofoam broken. But yeah, uh, baby, you want to come around this side and we'll say goodbye together. Maybe bring your chair over. Oh, you're all right like this. <clears throat> 
So it was our very first year doing Vlogmas, and it was Denise's first time on camera, which I know was a challenge for her, but I think the people really appreciated mm. it, baby. Mm, glad. Did you have fun? I did. It was pretty good. Thank you for all the kind comments. Yeah. So we enjoyed sharing our Christmas season with you. We know it's not over because we still have New Year's and we'll probably vlog a little bit. Yeah. It's not like we're never going to vlog again, but the daily vlogs are now done. So thank you to all of you who followed us. Hope you have a great New Year and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.